हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू डे थ्री ऑफ आवर थर्टी डे फ्रीलांसिंग चैलेंज फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर्स एंड वी हैड ऑलरेडी कम्प्लीटेड डे वन एंड डे टू वेर वी टू टू डिफरेंट टास्क एंड चैलेंजेस एंड मोस्ट ऑफ हर्स हैज ऑलरेडी फिनिश दैट आई हैड सीन इन द कम्युनिटी लाइक हाउ ऑल ऑफ यू पीपल आर कंट्रीब्यूटिंग हाउ यू हैड रिटेन एंड शेयर योर इंट्रोडक्शन इन द कम्युनिटी आई एम रियली हैप्पी डैट ऑल ऑफ यू आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग एंड actively taking the challenges that i am sharing and now we are in day 3 so today is the most important challenge that i am going to give because here the actual part of this complete freelancing journey will start from today itself you will be we will be working on how to identifying your skills so this challenge is very important and if you are watching this video please please follow up all my old challenges and also finish the challenge that i'm going to give today because if you will not complete the challenges if you will not complete the 30 day of this complete freelancing challenge then you will not be able to be a good freelancer so let's get started so as you can see today we are going to learn how we can identify our skills how we can identify our niche where we are going to work as a freelancer which skills we can utilize and use that skill to start earning as a freelancer how to find that exact skill that will help me to be very relevant in the freelancing industry so this is the task for the today and definitely i will also be showing you like how i find my skills how i identify my skills that is helping me to be relevant even in this competitive freelancing industry so that i will also share but today the today's task and the today challenge will be mostly relating about how to identify your find and to find your skills or niche that will be helping you in the long run so as you can see the best way to identify your skills that you had to find a sweet spot between the th three different areas and those three different areas that you can see on your screen are first is the demand so you had to find a skill that is demanding right you you are not going to learn a skill that is not in demand for example uh, these days if we we'll compare it in terms of mechanical engineering hand drafting is almost in no demand right no one is asking for hand drafting everyone wants to be uh, do 3d modeling 2d drafting digitally using tools like autocad solid works or there are so many tools so that's why the, you had to analyze the demands like whether the demand is there in the market for a certain skill or not and there are particular tips and tricks to find that to check out whether the demand is there or not inside the freelancing industry basically so if you will compare it with the job job have completely different requirements job industry where if you want to work as a full time professional those requirements are completely different but if you'll come into freelancing the requirements the skill needed are completely different that's why you had to analyze the demand so this is the first spot i say and that here you can see i had given it as a a, a annotation and now the next thing that while you are finding your niche and skill the next thing that you always had to take care of is whether you can monetize that skill or not like for example let's say you had learned a skill and you cannot monetize it for example as a mechanical engineer if i am i am very good in cooking so that is also my skill i am very good in cooking i can cook any kind of food but the problem is i cannot utilize or monetize that skill in the freelancing industry if if i will go into the freelancing industry and i will say that i am good in cooking no one is going to give me money for that particular skill right so you have to find a skill that you can monetize that people are asking for those skills and they are ready to pay for it if they are giving you a certain task they are ready to pay a good amount for that particular skill so you have to find that spot of skill that you can monetize as well and the third spot that you can see over here is the future you had to learn a skill that will have demands in the future as well that will have that is not going to be obsolete for example as i talked about the hand drafting uh, if you will compare it with the past 20 years these days the demands is almost over so in the coming 20 year as you can see the demand for the hand drafting inside the mechanical industry is almost gone right so that is why you had to learn a skill that will have demand in the future so you had to find a skill that will fulfill all the three different areas and you had to find a sweet spot between that, that and 
there you had to find your skill there you had to identify your skill so don't worry i'm going to show you i in the next day that is on the day four i will show you how you can find the trick tips and tricks that i'm going to share you utilizing that you can find the skill that will be fitting onto this area that you can see that is in highlighted over here in this area it will fit perfectly into this area so that skill i will show how you can find it but today's task as you can see the today's task is to you had to find your, the skill for yourself and this is a challenge for it before i will show you how you can find it perfectly i want yourself to identify your skill so the first task for the today the first challenge for the today is to identify five different skill for yourself that you think you are good at so five major skills now once you will find five different major skills the next task will be to share those skills share those skills that you want to use for freelancing into the community so if you want to learn how to post anything into the community just go and check out the day two video there i had already explained how whatever the things i'm asking to share you into the community you can go there and post it right and whenever you are posting your skills that you had identified five different skills make sure you are using these hashtags and these hashtags are the first is the hashtag mechanical engineer second is hashtag freelance and the third is hashtag three dias so you had to identify this five different skill post it into the community with three different hashtags that i had shared over here so this is the challenge for the today and i hope you guys will enjoy completing this challenge because this is very interesting challenge you had to identify your five different major skills then post it onto our community so guys thank you so much for finishing the challenge up to this point of time up to this day three and i'm looking forward to continue with all of you and i'm also really very excited that i'm taking some of you into this challenge up to the 30 day so thank you so much guys see you tomorrow